applying themselves. They've really slipped it into top gear. Boundary next throw in right next to the behind post. Next goal will win the game. And it's going to be a very handy one, Robbo, isn't it? This could be it here. Over the top, Hodges. As he made amends, the umpire yes. says it's a goal. Well, he got the hard one and missed what I'll term the easy one, but either way, it's a great kick for full point 7-11 to 6-9. Again, the advantage of playing in front and on a day like today where the ball's going to drop, it is an advantage. The rain has stopped, so really the guy behind is not going to get the lucky bounce as he would have with the rain and continue. You see there, Turner behind Hodges. Hodges went left, faked and went on to the right, and a good goal. So the bounce back in the centre. Richmond really need to get this out. They can't. Crows go to half forward. Going back was Linda. Couldn't mark. Jamison handball. Into an open goal goes Hocking. Gets another one for Adelaide. Hocking's first goal and two goals coming inside a minute to the Crows. 8-11 now to 6-9. Well, they did that easily, didn't they? They really did struggle for the first one. But the way they got the ball out of the centre. Jamison. Across to Hocking, it was just a bit too easy, and that's not a good sign. It was all sides, or both sides, have really struggled for goals today, and that was the easiest of the day. It's so important to get the ball out of the centre, it doesn't matter where you're playing football. Two goals, two now, the advantage, 14 points for Adelaide. In the early part of the last quarter, Cloak chipping in as Filky. His kick is not too bad, centre half forward, gather Hocking, handball to Hart. Hart short pass is pretty good. And I reckon this bloke's played a fair game, Scott Hodges. He cops a reasonable bagging because he doesn't get a lot of goals, but uh, he's done pretty well up there. He's kicked two goals, too. And that and was set up by Eddie Hocking. He got it across to Hodges. Oh, no, got it across to Hart. Just through sheer speed. Hodges from only 30 metres out. And it looks pretty good. Scott Hodges has got his third goal. So Adelaide scoot away in the final quarter. 9-11, 65 to 6-9-45. And David Coates gone off the ground too for Richmond. The replacement, Terry Keyes. So that'll release Honeybun. If we can pick him up, he should go into the centre for the ruck down. And he is. And here's on replay a good lead by Hodges. Adelaide wouldn't want to relax though. Back into the centre. Knocked down by Honeybun. Jarman tries to crash his way through. Blackman's on the bottom of the pack. Jarman looking for a hole in the ball. Decision looks at the umpire, but it's a negative response. And so three quick goals by the Crows have thrown the gauntlet right down to Richmond. They must come up with a reply. The rain has stopped, so conditions probably as good as they have been at any stage during the day. Can they make something of this? They can't. Ball kicked back by Bickley, it was. They're playing behind Richmond, and the Crows are in front. Kick into the goal square. See, and again, mark. behind. Behind. It's Jamison. He's already kicked two goals. And this could really almost make the game safe. When that hit down came from Honey Bun, Nace was behind his opponent at centre half forward, and the, all of the fellows on the Richmond side were behind. And again, that was amplified by Jamison's mark. Jamison for his third. He kicks and gets it. So the Crows on fire in the final quarter. They'll be heading for their first win in Melbourne. The scoreboard 10 11 71. The Tigers 6 9 45. He's got a good conversion rate, Jamison. It's 20 odd go this season, 20 goals, 9, which is a really good conversion rate. Good kick by Filky, right into the square, and as we've said, playing in front, you must do today. He got the mark and the goal. 3 to Filky and 3 to Hodges, the major goal kickers for the Crows now. Can Richmond come up with a reply? Goodwin kicks long to half forward. This might be the Tigers' chance. The ball socket off the ground. It stands on end. Still outside 50. Slapped further forward down there by Hogg. And the ball out of bounds right on the 50 metre line. Isn't it amazing having a fellow who desperately wants the ball from the bounce down? I evidence that by Goodwin who is the wingman. And he is getting in for every bounce down and actually getting the ball out. That's tremendous endeavour. In front is Maynard.